Hi guys, welcome to Weekend Movie Channel, and this is the first top of the best films of 2023. We didn't include action movies, thrillers, and horrors in this selection, because in the near future we will make separate videos on this topic. Write in the comments what other good movies of this year you have seen, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Creed 3 Adonis Creed achieved everything he dreamed of. Titles, money, a huge house, a happy family. Now Creed is helping a new generation of boxers by becoming a successful sports manager and promoter. However, the quiet life soon ends after Creed's childhood friend, Damien, is released from prison and asks for help. This is the ninth film in Rocky franchise and the first without Sylvester Stallone. The movie showed excellent results at the box office and received average but strong ratings on film resources. We guess that this movie won't disappoint you. There is also sports and drama and even a bit of thriller. The plot is reminiscent of the plot of the film Cape Fear, thought only at first and in the end of the movie develops in its own way. 8th place, Creed 3. Champions. Coach Markus Markovic is fired from minor league basketball in a scandal. Out of grief, he drives drunk and soon finds himself behind bars. As punishment, the judge invites him to become the coach of local basketball team with intellectual disabilities. Gradually, Markus imbues the players and leads them to one victory after another. The film is a remake of the 2018 Spanish movie of the same name. The remake turned out to be a successful, kind and funny film. Woody Harrelson plays a great role as a charming, obnoxious coach who doesn't stand out with a desire to help, nevertheless helps everyone around and finds happiness along the way. This movie doesn't pretend to tell you something new, similar stories have been shown more than once, but it's well made and is perfect for family evening. 7th place, Champions. Renfield. Renfield is a servant of the most ancient and powerful vampire of the planet, but Dracula is perhaps the worst boss in the history of mankind. He forces his assistant to get him food for days on end and also to carry out humiliating assignments. And after decades of hard work, Renfield is running out of patience and decided to get rid of the toxic working relationship with his boss. However, as you might guess, Dracula is not so easy to get away from. Bram Stoker's Dracula is one of the most filmed novels in the history of cinema, but probably Probably no one has considered this plot through the prism of psychology, and the relationship between Dracula and Renfield is like a codependent abusive relationship between the narcissist person and the victim. The movie is not boring at all, it's very cheerful and dynamic, combining the genres of comedy, horror and action. It turned out to be an easy but not empty film, and we guess you won't regret watching it. 6th place, Renfield. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. 11-year-old Margaret is waiting for not the most pleasant changes in her life. Her parents move from New York to Jersey, which means that the girl needs to change the school and partying with her beloved grandmother. However, receiving an assignment at school to write an essay on the topic of religion, the girl learns that her mother's parents were against their daughter's marriage to a Jew and cut off contact with her without even meeting her granddaughter. Margaret decides to figure out which religion she likes, while facing the questions and challenges of growing up during public. The movie is based on the 1970 novel of the same name. The book was a hit and received a film adaptation only 50 years later. It still hasn't lost its relevance in some moments. The film doesn't go deep into religion and often jumps from religious to teenage issues, only touching the surface of many topics. Fifth place. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Dungeons and Dragons. Honor Among Thieves. The bard, an adventurer, Edgin Darvis, together with his fighting friend Helga, escapes from prison and goes to see his daughter, who in recent years has been taken care of by his former accomplice Forge. Soon, the heroes will face different challenges and dangers. Dungeons and Dragons is a cold board game, the film version of which was released back in 1974. Since then, epic books, an animated series, many video games and several not-so-successful films adaptations have been appeared in the media space based on the game. But finally, a successful movie came out, which managed to keep the spirit of the game as well as to entertain the viewer perfectly. There is a great humor, bright characters and exciting adventures. The film will be appreciated by both tabletop fans and casual viewers who don't know anything about the game. Great fantasy for the whole family. Fourth place, 
Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Ayer. In 1984, Nike lost to competitors Adidas and Converse in terms of equipment for basketball players. Nike's marketing department wants to sign three or four young but not very promising players, but basketball scout Sony is only offering to sign one, 18-year-old Michael Jordan, a young but already prominent athlete. And for Sony, of course, a future legend, someone who will write his name history, and Nike, of course. This drama is not so many about sport, as it's about business, marketing, positioning, and competition. A story about a dark horse, about a little man overcoming impossible obstacles. The film will definitely appeal to basketball fans, sport fans, and just lovers of good movies. A sweet and kind movie with good humor, and most importantly, a fascinating story. Third place, Ayer. Blackberry, 1996. Mike and his friend Doc have their own startup and are trying to sell a new development to large companies, an advanced pocket phone that will also combine the functions of a pager and computer, but nothing came out. The guys who know how to invent and build, but they are completely devoid of marketing talent. Everything changes after meeting with the self-confident businessman, Balsili, who is fired from his native company for impudence and excessive zeal. The film tells the story of a company that made a breakout in technology and dominated the mobile device market for a decade. The movie perfectly keeps a balance between humor and serious themes, and comedic moments do not allow the film to be boring. It entertainingly shows both the routine of programmers and the ill-fated meetings with sponsors and all sorts of higher committees. This is a nice, unpretentious but at the same time exciting movie about the fact that the technological progress is inexorable and dreams can both come true and break into reality. Second place, Blackberry. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Guardians of the Galaxy is the most witty, original and charming series within the dimensionless universe of the comics. In recent years, the quality of Marvel movies has noticeably deep, and the interest of the audience has decreased. But the final, third part of the Guardians is timeless and trendless. This time, the team of heroes will again save the world, and the story of the appearance of Rocket the Raccoon will also be told. This film has everything that audience loved the first parts for, and these are witty jokes, original twists, bright characters, and touching, heartbreaking moments. Of course, there is also a gorgeous list of soundtracks. The movie is tightly packed with humor, action and sincerity that it turned into a steep roller coaster across the entire spectrum of emotions. One of the best comic book movies of all time. And you just can't help but love it. First place, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.